Sam? Do you remember your own birth? I mean, I remember being inside the womb. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers and Loch Ness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still men. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy to her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Join in spirit. Yet each, just for us. When we share. Our own private chiral network, I might say. With cupids. They can build one that will let everyone share what Lachlan and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for Bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. It would make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share and share alike. I knew it could change the world. With Emily's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Lachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Hmm. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, sis. Walking in those shoes, Sam? You'll only tie yourself out more quickly. Or worse, do yourself some damage. Best head straight for the nearest facility on the network. Then fabricate a fresh pair via a terminal. Yeah. 
Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. <laughs> Advised. Footwear condition critical. Please replace immediately. Cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble with our child still inside her. 
Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're, We're one. one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out. The munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet.
Lou? Lou! Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Sam. It's because we're partners. <laughs> partners? Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <sighs> Of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me. Try and start again. <laughs> And this is why I hate these things. Ugh. Oof. Uh, Sam. I was already filthy for my trip through the beach. But now your BB has added insult to injury.
nothing here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Stabilizers. They help you stay upright if you stumble. When you attempt to regain your balance, they automatically engage their attitude control system to provide assistance. And
Dead man tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. 
You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it.
Sam, you read me? Um, Lachna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with Bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Restrictions lifted. appears to be in perfect condition. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me, being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle.
Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. Your deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. New order available. Please access... Deploying autonomous delivery bot.
spawns keeping up.
Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons de weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges I weapons restrictions lifted.
someone's got to go Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. 
All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Delivering cargo. Oh, you made it. Handled with care, I see. I hear you're the one to talk to about the chiral network. Is it true that a contractor let me access your schematics and so forth? I want to share my research with everyone. Let them read it. Let them learn from it, like I learned from their work. Make me a part of the UCA. <clears throat> Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but it's a terrible mess. Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. Good work. New order available. Please access... Deploying Autonomous Delivery Bot. Oh, that's the roboticist's custom-made active skeleton, isn't it? Should be a big help on mountain trails, or any lousy road, come to think of it.
Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. 